Hello, chickens. Hello, all three of you. Say hello to the vlog. Hi. I don't know if you've had the chance to meet the chickens before. This is Blanche. This is Rose. And this is Dorothy. Anyone get the reference? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the setup we are working with today. Isn't that just the most professional thing you've ever seen? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you. I think we are all sorted. We tried doing this the other day. This is how that went. Just to see the man. There he goes. Yeah, hence the tape. Welcome back to AV Figs. I'm your host as always, Ruby. Not gonna lie, this feels a little bit awkward, a little bit unnatural to start off with. To start off with, to start with. See, I'm not even getting my words right. Anyway, I think well, I think leaving these parts in is <laughs> Oh camera's already moving again. Damn it. Must invest in a tripod ASAP. Anyways, I think uncertain. Jeez. As I was saying, I think leaving these parts in is good because it shows and it's a good lesson. If you've got something you want to do in life, whether it makes you comfortable, uncomfortable, whatever, that level of discomfort, that level of unfamiliarity can only be relieved by practice, by staying persistent, by saying, screw it, I'm unfamiliar with this, I'm uncomfortable with this, but I, this is what I want to do, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And that's kind of why we're here today. I've been thinking about what I can call this, and nothing seems to resonate more with me than the term coming clean, which is exactly what this is. I think it's safe to say most YouTubers, most Instagrammers, most social media, personalities that uh, try or succeed with being able to paint a perfect picture on how life is going really and while I'm far from perfect if you didn't already know it seems to be the endless pursuit to try to chase the perfect world um, showing you only the good stuff as viewers you only see the end product the final product I love the canvas things <laughs> What you don't see is everything that goes into it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the trials, the triumph. And believe me, there is a lot of that. So I'm hoping today by doing this, it kind of tears down that false wall a little bit. If we go, it, it, it sounds terrible the way, but putting it that way, but I'm sure you get what I'm trying to say. This is all off the cuff right now. A lot of people like to think that mine and a lot of other YouTubers videos are all scripted. They like to think that that's the way things are supposed to be. This is all off the cuff right now. This is as real as it gets. And I think it's the best way that what I'm about to say can be said. I'd just like to say first and foremost, thank you infinitely to all of you who have stuck through thick and thin with us this entire journey so far and continue to watch. Thank you so much. You are the ones I'm doing this for. Or even those of you who are just new to the journey, thank you so much for coming along. You've seen a lot of up and downs recently, a lot of consistencies and even more inconsistencies over the last I'd say at least year or so. In particular this last month there has been zero uploads and during this time, during this last month or so, during this last month and a bit I should really say, I've realized time and time again every time we tend to take a little bit of time away I feel it inside this hole inside me as cringy and as cliche as it might sound it's true it's cliche for a reason because it's true this hole that tells me that something's missing something's not right here and time and time again I realize the same conclusion I come to the same conclusion every time I'm not the same without YouTube not having YouTube in my life not having that personal connection with you guys just doesn't feel right for those of you who don't know I'm doing a polytech course at the moment it actually finishes in a few weeks time that polytech is about a 40 minute drive for me every morning and those 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back gives me an immense amount of time time that otherwise I probably would never have time to reflect time to think or well, what's going on in my life what could be better what's not right here in this last month especially I felt this burning hole it's burning it's burning in me right now this burning feeling that is never present when I seem to be filming something seem to be uploading seem to be interacting with all of you seem to be having that personal connection with you guys this last month of not being active on YouTube has reminded me why I love YouTube so much, why I love reading your comments, interacting with you, putting out the best content that I can put out for you guys. And on putting out the best content for you guys, I think that's where the root of this all starts. What I strive for more than anything else, no less than 100% of my ability to put out the best content for you guys that I could possibly put out. Prior to this month long hiatus, I guess you could say, you probably noticed a huge influx of new uploads. Music reactions. Not everyone's favorite. Another bump. <laughs> well, music reactions aren't always of like a high 
creative quality that I like to think that I strive for. I mean, number plate with ECW just went past. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> Time to walk and talk. The music directors don't always go with putting out the best content. Well, it goes with my second favorite thing about doing this, putting out content that people like to see and look at any of the views. Like it's nothing special, but they really do stand out. And on top of that, they are ridiculously easy to film. So I thought, hell, I could easily make a schedule doing this. So I thought every few days, a new one would be achievable. You talk about unfamiliarity, this whole public vlogging, talking thing is still very new to me. I didn't even tell you where we were, did I? <laughs> we're at the warehouse right now. Oh, yo, on the same elites. Hell yes, Carmella, okay, Seth, of course, The Fiend, may, may you rest in peace. Miz, haha, another Seth. Sid, big Sid Justice. No, Triple H. Well, all hope's not lost yet. We've got Zelina Vega, uh, Rhea. They've been here for a little while, not going to lie. Another Zelina there. Hopefully someone buys them soon. There's a Triple H, not the one I wanted, but Reckon series. I actually haven't seen these ones in person yet. There's a cool Randy there. That's a look here. Ah, okay. Reminds me of the good old Flex Force days. Ah, well, fortunate they had something new. Um, unfortunate in my case that the one from that set they didn't have is the one I wanted. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Yeah, anyways, where were we? I tend to be easily distracted by lots of noise and stuff, so I didn't talk much inside. Anyways, with the music reactions, we were coasting along nice with the uh, consistent schedule. It was every two or three days a new upload. I'm, of course, quite occupied with course, but I still wanted to make sure that we had an upload. Needless to say, I was very... Oh, I can take this mask off now, can't I? Jeez, it's hot in here. Needless to say, I rallied, I met the deadline with the video, but I was unsatisfied with the finished product. I'd gotten home from course that day and I filmed it last minute. I was tired, not at my best. Quickly chucked together a thumbnail. This tape's not gonna stay, is it? Out come the reinforcements. And the video went out as scheduled. Um, and yeah, here we are, a month later, I was unsatisfied with one video, so I stopped. Seatbelts yet again. With all this reflection time we've afforded with the car trips to course every day, the car trips there and back, there seems to be a, oh, the battery's going low, damn it. As I was saying, being able to reflect the last month, what I've realized, I'm a perfectionist. And say when I put out a video that I'm very stoked with, I tend to get into the mindset of, I must top this next time. How am I supposed to top this for the next one? And then days, weeks, and in this case, the month and a bit has gone by. You know, my thought process has always been, I don't want to let you guys down by putting something out that's not my best. But in saying that, looking back, it's been a month. I'm letting you guys down by not putting out anything at all. Do you get my drift? Am I making any sense? So if I feel I'm letting you down by not putting out my best, but I'm also letting you down by not putting out anything, then what? Something's got to give. So that brings us to where we are now. And where are we now? We're on a very windy road, that's for sure. Windy and bumpy. So I feel now is probably appropriate to ask you guys, and gals. What's next for AEB Fix? Well, what do you think? Do you like this style of video? Should we do this kind of thing more often? Do you want to come along the road with me? I'd really appreciate your input. I want to be putting out stuff that you want to watch. Now, I've been in touch with some old mates of mine that you would have seen in a few videos earlier this year. They are so keen to be a part of more of these videos. Very soon we'll be popping in to visit them. And you're more than welcome to come along. In the meantime, I've got the urge to pump some iron. Gym time. <laughs>
What do you think? AEB vlogs? <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you on the next one.